Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I make the cushion covers that go on the cushion on my little bench here in my hallway. This is what I've had up over the summer and I've had new pictures printed for autumn and I have some fabric here that I'm going to use to make a new cover for the cushion and I'm going to show you how I do it. I bought this bench years ago, it came with the little wall shelves, I got it from Little Woods in England and the cushion that it came with is just a plain one, I'll show you the cover in a minute and I make different covers for the different seasons and I just pop a bit of non-skid shelf liner there and switch that out. The cushion covers I make just have an envelope back like that. I just kind of pull them tight and then put them on the bench on that non-skid shelf liner that I showed you but they probably would stay neater if I put some velcro there. I just can never be bothered. This is the original cover that came on the cushion. It has kind of a panel all the way around the side and a zip but I just find the envelope style so much easier to do and I just take in the corners which I will show you in a minute. Okay I've washed and dried and ironed my fabric and the first step I'm going to do is measure from halfway up the cushion across and then halfway down the cushion. That's 103 centimeters and then I'm going to add a centimeter for seam allowance so that's 104 centimeters and that's how wide I'm going to cut my fabric. Okay, now I'm going to work out how long I need it, and I think I might even be right. So that plus seam allowance to fold and sew, plus that, it's pretty much exactly what I want. So I did square off the edge, so now all I need to do is put it together. The first thing I'm going to do is fold this edge, fold it a second time and then sew that and I'm going to do that along that edge and along that edge. The next step is to work out the side seams. So I'm actually going to lay this down face up. So I'm going to kind of wrap this, but I'm wrapping it with my fabric inside out. So if you had a fabric which had one right side and one wrong side, this would be right side up. So I'm going to do that and that and then pin that. I'm just going to make sure it's wrapped nice and tight and just pin the fabric but not the actual cushion.
and then slide the cushion out. Okay, now I want to make sure this is lined up on the sides. It's lying nice and flat as I've pinned it. And then I'm just going to double check that it's the same width all the way along. So, the center, 33. Here, it's not quite 33. Right, now the next step is just to sew the ends. Kind of want to make sure it's nice and even, so that can do with a little trim there. And then it's literally just a seam along the both sides. There you go, got them overlapping. I have sewn the end together. This end was the salvage, so I didn't zigzag it. But this end was just raw, so I zigzagged it as well as sewed it. If you have a serger or overlocker, you won't need to zigzag the raw edge. But if you don't, then you wanna do that just to make sure it doesn't unravel in the wash. Okay, the next step is to do the corners to create a kind of gusset. There are more technical and less technical ways of doing this. This is just how I do it. So I find the corner of my cushion and then I measure how deep it is. This actually has a panel sewn in so that makes it easy for me to measure. So the cushion depth is three centimeters. So to create that corner in this, what I'm going to do is flatten it out. So I'm going to open it and lay it flat so that the seam is kind of coming up the middle. So it was like that. I'm just going to grab either side, pull it open and lay it flat like that. Okay. And once I've done that, I'm going to lay my ruler until zero is there and three centimeters is there. As you can see, three centimeters is there at the moment. I'm just gonna move it up until, there we go. Whoops. From that side to that side is three centimeters. So that is how I do it. It's just easiest for my brain to wrap itself around. So I'm gonna put a pin in there. Oops. because that is the point where I'm going to sew straight across. I'm gonna do that with all of my corners. If you had a thicker cushion on your bench, then your seam might be somewhere like that. However thick your bench is, that is how wide from there to there your seam will be. But I have quite a thin cushion, so it's just up there. So I put my sewing machine right on top of the pin so I know at which point to sew, pull the pin out and then just sew straight across. If you have a very deep cushion, then you could do a bit of a zigzag there, cut that off. But because mine's so shallow, I'm probably just gonna leave that on.
and voila your cushion cover is done so when I turn it the right way you can see what happened there when I sewed the corner it's got a bit of depth to it now so all I have to do is turn it the right way and put it back onto the cushion If you were going to do the Velcro, I would do a couple of spots of Velcro before you do the side seams. Just measure where you want them, put it onto the ends before you do the sides. But like I said, I just tend to perch mine there. It doesn't get heavy use on that bench, so doing an envelope back works fine for me. Voila, ready to go. You can see the corners there, how they've got a bit of allowance for the height of the cushion and there you go that's how it's turned out a bit of seasonal decor without having to have extra stuff lying around in the house I do have a winter look which I'll show you here and you saw the summer look I change it out for Christmas and I'm waiting to find the perfect fabric and then I'm going to do a spring look this fabric I just found at a thrift store or op shop I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Let me know if you're going to give it a go. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.